Hey everybody, this is Ben Schaff with Level Up Tuts. Uh, tonight I am starting a new tutorial series on WordPress. Um, in this tutorial series what we will cover is installation, getting familiar with the WordPress control panel, and all of the features. Um, what we are not going to cover in this particular series is um, writing custom, uh, custom plugins or themes. Uh, that will be the next series. So, I uh, hope you enjoy it. So the first thing that we need to do when um, starting a new WordPress site is go to wordpress.org, not .com, but .org. Um, it's two different products and this is the one we want. And we go ahead and click on download. There's several links to it, take, it all takes you to this page. And then from here what we're going to do is click the big blue button. Um, and as of this recording it's 341 is the latest version. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to download pretty fast. It's a pretty tiny file. And uh, before we go on to the next step of like uploading these files, which I've already actually already done, um, what we need to do is create the database for WordPress. So um, as I stated in other videos, I use Media Temple for hosting and I have one of their products that is the dedicated virtual server not the grid server, so not the shared hosting plan, but the a little bit bigger plan. Uh, you may have GoDaddy or you know whatever, there's a, there's a plethora of hosts, so whatever one you have, um, you're gonna be looking for buttons like this. Um, they might not look the same, but basically what we need to do now is create an empty database. So on Media Temple's grid server, what you do to do, um, to where you go to do that, you click on Websites and Domains, databases, add new database, and then what you need to do is give it a name. Uh, depending on the ho your host again, you may not get to choose the name, it might just be some random thing. It doesn't matter, but what does matter is that you need to save that these names and the database user and their password off to the side because we're going to need it in about 20 seconds. So let's give it a database name. I'm going to call mine WP. Well, and I need to give it now a user. So once I've created my database, I need to assign a user to it. This is the same in every hosting environment. Um, again, you're going to want to, they should be secure, they shouldn't be easy to guess. Um, and you, but you're also going to want to like save them off the side because uh, we're going to need them right now. So we've created a database, we've created a user, we've downloaded the files. I've already super secretly uploaded these files. Uh, I haven't done anything else yet to them. So um, you can pause while your files are uploading. Um, but I'm just going to keep on going. So um, now that your files are uploaded, the next step is you need to tell WordPress how to interact with your database. Or you need to tell WordPress where your database lives. So the first thing you need to do is rename wp-config-sample to just wp-config. Go ahead and open that file up. I'm using Sublime. And what we need to do is we need to fill out uh, this section here. So we're going to need that database name from uh, one screen ago. Never mind that error. Uh, your your host may differ depending on um, where your database is hosted. Um, on my server, my database and my files all live on the same box, so it's localhost. In a lot of instances, maybe most instances, you, you wouldn't have to change this, but if you're in a shared hosting environment, you may have to. Your host will make this pretty obvious to you. Um, in fact, I'll even show you what happens when you um, have something wrong in the, con in the config. Uh, but before I do that, and so I guess what I'll do is I'll just remove a letter here so that it won't be able to find this database. Um, the last thing that we need to add to this is the uh, what we have here called the authentication, unique keys, and salts. Um, what this does is secure your site, 
Um, I don't really know a whole lot of the like how and all that stuff, but you definitely need to do this. And so I just go to this, um, hit this address. It's going to give you some random stuff. You can hit refresh to you know every time you hit refresh, it gives you something totally random. So again, this is just a way to um, secure your site. You definitely need to do it. So um, okay, so I have my salt, and I have my passwords, and all that stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my site and what we should hopefully see is it an error. Here we go. Uh, error establishing um, a database connection. So if you see this, know that something in your WP config is wrong. So um, in my case, right, I intentionally um, botched the WP or the uh, uh, the database name. So I'm going to go ahead and correct that and hit save, come back here, give it a little refresh. And there you go. So now we are um, going into the installation process. Um, I'm going to give this site a name, give the, myself a password. Go. I'm going to give put in my email address privacy uh, I'm going to not allow search engines to index this site you probably would depending on I guess what you're trying to do so let's go ahead and click the in install WordPress success that's it guys that's all that's all there is um, unlike Drupal and um, expression engine you're not having to monkey with you know file permissions and all that stuff it's just easy so we're going to view the site. There it is, and I just clicked out of the um, sort of dashboard area. So let's go back to the dashboard, and this is the dashboard. We're going to go over this in detail in the next couple series uh, videos in this series. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. This was the installation of WordPress. Um, before you head out, remember to um, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks a lot, guys. You rock.